Hi, this is Yoshiro, and here I'm gonna teach you how to make a basic um, light effect file, presets to be exact, um, for your keyboard. So, first thing first, let's go over to the LE files tab. Next, um, scroll all the way down, and this is our, this will be where all your new presets will appear. So, hit the plus button to create a new one. Put in the name, I'll use test here, press create, and here it is. So to edit this, now that you have created the preset, press edit, and you'll come into this page. And you'll come into this. Um, so these two are very important settings area, I call it, I guess. I'm not really sure what's a, what's a good word for it as of now. So this frame. So as this is a basic one, I will be I won't be going through the different kind of frames you can use here. It's purely just um, the different lightings on your different keys. I won't go into things like interchangeable keys and stuff. So for this simple tutorial, this in this frame, make sure you click in it. Choose the keys that you're interested to have it lit up with LED. In this case, it doesn't matter what color you want it to be as of now. Just select all the keys that you want to be lit up with LED. So example, you are a FPS player and you want your WASD and maybe some of the more important stuff like maybe your reload, your crouch, whichever is control or C, your run, your spacebar for jumping or if you use this kind of a more miniature spacebar, you can go ahead and use them and maybe the corner keys. So I have selected all this that I'm interested in so next, we'll go into the colors, what, what you can see here. So you have, so for the color effects, you have monochrome, which is just a single color that just lights up that, and doesn't have any of a effect, if I would call it. And you have things like RGB, which is literally um, the color keep changing from the initial color. In this case, it changes from red and go to some other colors. This parameter, which I did not go into testing, means the different kind of shades of red that you will go to. So rather than use the word shades, I guess how far it will change its color would be this parameter. So I mean, if you use a very big, if you use a very big number, most likely it will change from this all the way to the other, all the other to the, the other end of the color range. So next is breathing. Breathing um, is literally just um, the color going brighter, dark, brighter, dark as usual. So the default values that I usually see is literally 5 to 20. Yep. So um, the others I'll usually leave it to default. So for clarity sake, I'll use, um, I'll change this color to green and I'll change this to blue. For your different colors you can choose other any other colors you can see on the spectrum this is your choice but for demonstration sake i'm just gonna use rgb literally <clears throat> so whenever so after you've selected all the keys you are you have interested to use next you'll want to go select which color for which keys so for testing purposes i'm gonna show you after i selected all these keys here let me verify yep so, in this situation, you might want to test it out. This key, this button here will let you test out what you should see on your keyboard. So, pressing this, you'll realize that the green has been selected, which is correct as what you have chosen here. However, even though you have not selected the other keys, in your demo or your test button, you realize all this have been selected, have been turned into white color. This is how the software works, so please take note. So in the event, if you have any keys that you do not wish to be lifted up, but you have been, but you have actually selected here, it will by default be lifted up in white. So please take note. So after that, RGB, I'll usually, let's say you want to select your WASD to be change, always changing color, and the rest to be in breathing, LED, so you press the test again, this is what you'll see. So after that, press save. 
go back to where your configuration are go to your light effect um, array your safe array and select any your preset here press confirm save and apply then you see the apply successfully um, notification box here and after that just use your fn your function right closing square braces key basically this and this by pressing it together you should select the different color effects you've set here and just uh, shuffle it through your preset that you have chosen and you see it on your keyboard i hope this tutorial helped you and be able to use more of your light effects to whatever you want to so hope you like the video thank you very much see you again bye